Hello everybody, welcome to Tencent Edo Gaming Channel. A shout out to friends that had subscribed to my channel even before any video was uploaded. Friends like from my previous Ali Mobsters and the new one I had got to know recently when I was trying out this game that I'm gonna introduce to you guys today. Yes, um, a shout out to uh, Legion Ali Mates too. Thanks for the support, man. Today, we are gonna talk about a relatively new game called MU Origin 3. And the global version is gonna be out soon, finally. And in English and other languages like Japanese, Vietnamese, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, German, French, Bahasa, Hindu, and even Thai. They are also gonna put in regional server in one game. American region is the first one, followed by Europe and Southeast Asia coming during the open beta test period. Though this isn't the first MU Origin 3 out there, but this is gonna be the first client base with English and other languages, with server currently based in the state now. While waiting for the next closed beta test tool for the global version to be released again, I'm excited to show you guys what you have what they have in stock for you this time. And because the global versions um closed beta test one had recently just ended about a few days ago and the development teams needed some time to fix those bugs that were raised and also to incorporate new stuff that came from the feedbacks of the tester, we are going to use Taiwan as um, Taiwan version as a demo from uh, for today. So first of all, when this is, uh, we are going to talk about character creation. This character that you are seeing here is called Magic Gladiator. It won't be out uh, in your global version but I hope that they don't take too long to release it out. But what will be the main three characters that you were going to be able to use? All right, so these are the three characters that you will be made available for the testers and even in the official for the in the beginning. First, you have the warrior, and uh, you have the other one, which is the mage. Mage has no gender lock, can play in a male and a female, while the rest of the classes has gender lock. And then you have archer. Over here, you have archer. These are the three characters that you guys can um, access to. And uh, when the games is made available, so what we gonna um what we are gonna do now, we are just gonna run through a simple um character creations to see how this will look like for those who like to customize their character. We will press this button uh to customize the character. If you press this um red button, it means um. Jingru, you see, it means you get into the game directly without even have the chance to customize. So let's see what customization options are available. These are like three basic options that you can choose. Um, preset options that if you like this character to look like this, like this, you can just trigger it every, um, according to the skill. And uh, you have hair, long hair, short hair and even colors for the hair. Then they have this uh, body size um, triggers. You can actually change to how tall or how short, how fat, sorry, how big size or how, um, how you want it to look like. So we just keep it in the center and we'll continue the customization. This is where you will be able to do the looks, the facial looks of the character. Then you start. You will just go with the default because basically most of the time you won't be seeing the face. In my opinion, please don't get offended guys. Now we are gonna take a short walk in the town to begin with. This game um, was created using Unreal Engine 4. It's the first 3D versions of MU sequence so far since the launch of MU. 
the mobile platform has been around for about more than five years while the PC version has been around for more than 20 years. If you are hardcore MU fans and you have played MU since like you was young, you know that there, are, there will be some stuff that will capture you to say that, okay, this is still the MU that I used to know. But of course, there are changes along the way to um, reach out to more client base. Therefore, the game um, have a lot of uh, changes there are changes that make it more um, suitable for the, the demographic players right now. It is a bit laggy because they have just finished their latest updates. So basically, you'll be welcome with this welcome screen. And uh, if you remember, the most classic way of MU is it will start inside this inn or close to this inn. So you have to just follow through the instructions of the quest to get you started. And yes, this is a very famous Lear. And this is how you can trigger from the classic 2D, which is like a 45 uh, degree angle view. And now you can have a 3D Chen Zi Yu, means freely control it in 3D, like this. Okay, wait. There are gonna be quite some dialogues that you have to click through, and uh, most of the dialogues will give you rewards. Okay, so what basically you have to do is to play through the introduction and Usually, you will have to allow the game to download um, a lot more information that uh, they did not download initially. So, you uh, basically have to download basic stuff like the sound and even the maps. And because I have already played through the games with uh, uh, previous characters, the maps are all downloaded. So, once they have actually finished downloading, you can click to receive all these rewards here. And then, I will show you um, more in-depth on the events, um, what are available for your daily events and uh, weekly events. And because this character right here, it's only level 5, you won't be able to see whatever is available. You have to go through the story mode and uh, to follow the instruction and then you will be able to see the whole um, all the available events. I need to say that this game is uh, very well balanced um, from all the other games that I have played um, MU, MU games and um, I'm sure that um, auto haters will say that hey uh, this game is too much auto okay uh, it's not a nice game I, I prefer a game that is fully manual I can control it myself you know no offense but this game um, you, are, you have the ability to control whether you want it to be played as auto or manual. Usually, it's a, it's a, it's a big um, benefit to us when we have the auto function because you can just allow it to play while we like probably continue our work or you know stuff that we need to do. But in, in situations like when we need to do um, cut and queue, we need to do PVPs, Usually, I won't suggest that we use our auto because you basically die within seconds. Okay, players who are playing um, with you either they are gonna be stronger than you or they are actually doing um, manual cut and queue and controlling their characters 
for for a better um better performance. And I apologize for the lag because uh they have just finished the update that what I have mentioned. Alright. I'm gonna use my uh, magic gladiator gladiator here to show you what events they are available, your daily events and uh, weekly events. And because this is uh, near third rebirth, uh, 85, I'm trying to push it fast to fourth rebirth so that we can see the subclass and uh, more of the skill. So we are just gonna use whatever we have right now. First, I'm gonna let you know that there are three types of currencies in the game. Okay, the currencies that you can use to buy things, you can use to trade things. First will be your gold diamond. Okay, gold diamonds basically comes from um, you have to basically buy the packages. You have to buy the diamonds in the game. Okay, and it comes with a price. And uh, usually, uh, free to play players won't be able to access to this because you won't be intending to buy any other thing. Then blue diamonds comes by buying better better pass excuse me and certain rewards excuse me and certain rewards like when you accomplish certain certain tasks in the game and even when you finish your photo albums you will be rewarded with um diamonds and uh, other useful rewards this is something that uh, I will cover up in the future um, this is under Genesis Genesis is a very big stuff that um, without proper guide a lot of players are lost but uh, I have the guides with me so uh, I hopefully I will come up with videos in future to guide each other to go through Genesis properly so let's take a look at the basic functions that uh, you would probably use it every day in the game with these three lines on the right hand side of the game when you press on it you'll see the main functions of the game okay if you have played like uh, mu origin 1 and 2 um, this will not be um, unfamiliar to you okay this is gonna totally be very easy for you to get in very fast first you have the jiao se, the character status screen if you click on that it's basically going to tell you about the current state of your character Li Liang, Zi Li um, Ming Jie, Ti Li means um, it's going to be your your power, your your um, your magic wisdom, your agilities and uh, even your HP and stuff and there will be if you click on this button, you'll see the in-depth what we used to call the hidden step the hidden stats are all going to be under here you're going to see um, what percentage um, attributes that you have and what are the numbers attributes that you have when you press on this uh, swarming it will actually tell you in depth you know what does this attribute means what does this attribute means so if you are lost you can just click on this and this is the place Jia Dian means where you add your uh, stats point every level you have uh, be given 5 stat points um, unlike um, the P PC versions of uh, MU um, and some of the old MU Magic Gladiator also have only 5 points instead of um, 7 point if I remember it correctly you can either use an automatic automatic um, point allocation function here I have tested to do either manual like I, I only put minimum for the whatever is required for the gears and the rest for, for the damage probably for warriors melee you'll be under strength or mage under zi li means uh, your wisdom um, to me this function is actually very good okay if you don't know what to do with the stat just keep it as automatic Okay, you you actually put it um, very well for you. You don't have to worry unless you really want to try out stuff. This is where you untick it and you allocate yourself and you test it yourself. Yeah, fruits. 
have not uh, opened it for me but um, this is where when you put on your if you know you have played emu origin 2 where you upload fruits this is where you're gonna have the fruit then and this is where you see your um, achievements sorry this is where your title will be okay you can have up to 10 titles at one time only only 10 titles and you are able to trigger them take it down or use it like this I just taken it out and I've just read it back so next we'll go to Zinen is skill this is where you are gonna pump your skill allocate your skill point decide what um, skill that you like to go with and uh, to customize your character this one two three four five uh, one, two, three, four, four unlocked skills is where we will start to open once you reach river four. River four, um, about river four level fifty, you open the first um subclass skill. These are your subclass skills. So whatever subclass you have decided to choose after river four, they will go accordingly to what you have chose. Le uh, river four level fifty, river five level fifty. Reverse 6 level 50 and reverse 7 level 50 if I have remembered it correctly and basically these are all your um, common skill kind of shared between both the subclass and in my opinion there's no um, hard or soft rule on the, the skill that you want okay in this game the, the most of the skills are pretty good it's up to you to test it yourself to decide how you want to play what's the play style but probably in the future I will come up with uh, videos on uh, what was being recommended by the pioneers how they uh, use the skill and how they preferred it to go the thing about these skills that they have their awakening also they, are, they have the awakening function when you see this small button over here small circle over here and when you click on a skill and you click on this shining button here you'll be able to see there are three types of uh, skill three type of uh, attribute you can add on to your individual skill itself common, common um, add-on skills um, awakening skills will be like um, adding damage to the in, uh, particular skill and uh, probably like in the next um, in the next few seconds it add on damage for the rest of the skill there will also be um, functions like cooldown or um, you know cooldown three seconds means this will actually increase the the, the damage taken uh, increase the um that reduce the the damage taken by five percent and it cools out for three seconds and this is for this skill so you can unlock with all these stones that uh, you can purchase from the store itself at one time you can only select one active skills to go along with you and this button here is where you're gonna reset your skill you need a reset pot uh, purchasable um, by, by your blue diamonds about 200 blue, blue diamonds if I remember correctly and it will reset one skill by itself usually when you have set five skill here usually um, there's only five skill at one time that you can use okay and as you progress you may want to unlock more um, combi skill um, set by using 100 blue or gold diamond so that you can make it more um, customizable like one set will be for um, PvE, one set will be for PvP and this is your Tianfu Zinen this is where your talents will be okay every class um, around from first rebirth to third rebirth you share about um, close to simili similar um, talents that you can choose from from for each classes and after fourth rebirth that will be the the main um, different okay talents that's only available for the subclass that you have chosen for example mitch have um, 
more damage adding talents and even elemental damage um, talents that you'll be able to add it in when it um, is uh, made available. Warrior on the other hand have uh, a, um, interesting skills like bleeding. If you love um, to have bleeding in your, in your skill function, it is you're gonna choose warrior and uh, from what I heard MG has a lot of uh, cooldown talents over here this is where the third one is where you're gonna upgrade your gears okay this is where you're gonna find um, the classic MU style how you're gonna make your, your gear shines okay You'll come here and add in your blessing, stone of blessing, jewel of blessing, and uh, jewel of soul. Plus seven, plus nine, plus eleven, plus thirteen. Okay, this is where you will start shining at different degree. Over here, plus seven, plus nine, plus eleven, plus thirteen, even plus fifteen. They have these accomplishments uh, reward for you. If you have uh, meet the requirements, you'll be able uh, be able to unlock more special options to buff up your character. Like for example, your whole set is plus seven. You have um, double damage increase of uh, zero point five percent, and your increase of your own um, attack damage. Okay, over uh, the main attack damage by one point five percent, and if you reach plus nine. This is where you're gonna increase your double damage to one percent and increase um your attack um damage to three percent. And this is our jewel life where you put uh jewel life into the substat of the gear. If you put it in under weapon, okay, you add damage, okay. You add damage to the weapon and if you put it to all the gears here you add um life your hp to the character and after um second rebirth you will have this uh quite su zui jia means you add it in automatically whatever is there you will, you can just press it and it will just allocate for you okay if you just like to go one by one individual you just press this um one by one by yourself this is your the next one is where you upgrade your weapons okay um in every rebirth you will be able to uh, access into uh for more um for latest gear gear grade dropping uh that will drop by the boss so um from this is a fifth grade gear okay good um fifth grade so at Third grade, if I remember correctly, you will start having to increase them by putting in similar weapon, the same one, okay, similar gear to it to add in. So once the star gets get up, you will be able to um, increase the gear. For example, if you click this weapon, it means that you know you buy straight from the market. But because um, my gears are already at the max, you won't, uh, for this server you won't be able to find them in the market for you to buy automatically. But if you have, usually you you appear here and tell you that you have a um available weapon for you to add on to it to upgrade. So for example, fifth grade gears, you need four another four pieces of it, similar one, so that you can evolve to sixth grade. So this is how the gears section work. And right now, this is where we see um the gemstones um function this is a very good place for you to increase your power but um, usually you only strive when you have um, when you are p2p players when you have the resources when you buy the diamonds and use the diamonds to upgrade them Jinglin this is where we transfer um, weapons attributes from another weapons to any of the selected weapons and they can only go to the same type weapons to weapons um, necklace to necklace, ring to ring and um, helm to helm and armor to armor
So we have 翅膀 wings. Wing is one of the main gist of our、uh, MU gameplay.、Um, in this game, there are actually four levels of our、uh, wings that you will be able to unlock it as you go on、uh, according to your level. First wing unlock at about、um, second rebirth, and、uh, max level for each wing will gonna be four hundred levels. Okay, to increase that, you need feathers. Okay, the feathers can be purchased directly from、uh, using wind crystals from the the trading store, or whatever you have、uh, gotten from the daily events. You can just farm it here. Okay, the second set of wings is gonna open for third river at level hundred. With this thing, ah,、uh, this requirement being met. Okay, you need to be at least. Third rebirth level hundred, and you need to have this um mo mo guang shi. That's um crystal here, and this wing unlock feather, which you need to fight buy it at five hundred thousand green crystal from the storm. Same so so on and so forth for the third wings and the fourth wing, fifth um rebirth uh level fifty and sixth rebirth level fifty. This is where you put your plumes. Plumes is a very interesting、um, extra attribute add-on function for you to increase、um, how well your character,、uh, your character will be. There are different types of plumes here available for you to choose from a、uh, purple grade, normal grade to advanced grade, good grade, high level grades. But you need to have all these ah.、Uh, Pieces of plumes for you to do an exchange for the one that you want. I'll cover on our、uh, plumes in future to share with you guys what are the recommended plumes or what are some of the plumes that I find that are really good. And this, Fei Hua. Fei Hua is when you upgrade your your wings with Locks Feather. If you have actually remember Locks fe Feather. Local 火种 okay. This is the this is basically for the pay pay to play users. Um, ground okay. You need diamonds to to increase this, and with every um stage that you are able to unlock all the way through here, okay. In the midst of every stage, you will be able to unlock unlock special function like this. Um, damage decrease one percent. So. When at the third stage of the wing, fourth stage of the wing, fifth stage of the wing, you will be able to unlock more of this function. Usually, they are very good for、um, PV PVP. So, if you want to increase your PVP and you are a pay-to-play user, this is where you should be coming in to focus. You can also buy it directly from the store by clicking this button. Next, we will just cover our、uh, companions, Jingling. This is one of the、um, best spot to increase your power score here. In here, you have to、uh, do a draw. You have to do companions draw to、uh, have them unlock for you, and you'll be able to level them up using what we call the Tan Tan in the、uh, Taiwan version. Is it? Actually, called the Jingling, Jingyan Sui Jing, means your experience are、uh, crystal. You need to have this crystal to level them, and you can, you can get them from daily events or even buy from the store directly. Using green crystals, the main currency, the the um, the currency in the game that you don't have to purchase with your own money. It comes when you complete um all the daily events. This is where you see your team. You can set up teams for your your companions. You can have up to five companions per team. Okay, with one 主战出啊 one means the 主战 with the one leading the whole team, and the rest are gonna be support. Support. This support opens up um companions compatibility um function. You need them to be here in order to unlock it. Okay, 
you will see here the four dragons and the four birds they are basically the best two um, um, team support that you can have for the game excuse me and yeah um, they have a lot of uh, good function if you are able to get uh, unlock them have them and put them in the teams mostly for pvps um damage increase damage decrease you know adding um your health by five percent over here and increase your damage by five percent after rebirth four about rebirth five or rebirth six you will be able to unlock the second team okay if you max them out each 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 companion's uh max level is about 400 so if you match max them out five of them at 400 you're gonna get about 400 thousand power increase if i'm not wrong and that is only for one set so when it unlocks two set this is where next you will be able to increase more of your power okay and these are the function that allows you to edit it Okay, take them away or take all away. Okay, 全部取消. Okay, then you will be able to do it quick enough to add in the rest of the pets yourself or under this, I'll click this button for the most recommended by the game AIs, uh, which are a good match for you, or mainly they will go by the highest power that it can give you. Uh, they help you increase okay but um we prefer enhance injure enhance demons um titans where is the titans yes titans okay titans and scotch both of them has um, will be able to make you invincible for about two to three seconds based on based on uh sorry that's not scotch scotch is the one all the way ahead this is um scotch from what we know uh, from mu2 this is sun scotch okay they have uh invincible ability make you invincible woody okay for two Two second uh, based on your star level and it adds on um damage increase once you trigger the the ultimates and they have their own cooldown timing for about 60 seconds for all the pets on average to her over here this is where when you unlock um the companions and when you level them out you will be able to even level them up here more to increase your your power score and this is where um you show the chart that you have collected so far the the companion pets that you uh, have collected so far you can read on what uh, what does the pet do what can the pets do for you and what function can it unlock if you have a full set of it the interesting things about this uh, MU origin tree is you're able to even uh, have this uh, um, compatibility unlock at a different level when you have um, similar um, companions already in your arsenal that is not under your old team they will also increase um, particular um, stuff like um, your, your attack damage your life your defenses okay so there are very good ways to increase your power score here this is where you find your Zanmeng, your ally alliance um, platform You can see basically who are online and uh, how strong uh, each of them will be and the individual roles and the buff okay who are your alliance leader who are the vice leader who are the um 
internal um, officers, goddess, diplomats. And this are uh, where you earn extra achievements for your game. Like usually you will start to donate for the day and you get extra rewards here. If you are free to play, I think this is enough. Use a game gold coin. But if you are paid to pay, uh, go ahead for using the, the diamonds because this is gonna give you more points so that you can exchange items in, in the shop. Plus, when you reach um, third rebirth level 100, you'll be able to unlock alliance talents. This is where you add extra points to your characters, extra power points to your uh, characters. This is Holy Artifact. Holy Artifacts is an uh, extra function open up specially for the pay to play user and uh, for the PB PvP user because many of the set that when you have completed, you have extra PvP uh, options like reduce um, skill damage, um, prevent, um, reduce the amount of damage you will be getting if you are under a crowd control spell. This, I wouldn't recommend for free to play players to go mad on it because it's gonna cost you a lot of money, okay? And But if you are a pay to play user, you can take a look at this site. This is where your genesis is, okay? To make the game more enjoyable and uh, to allow players to understand the, the game more, they have came up with this uh, function called genesis. Genesis is where, of course, you collect um, codex. This is what we call the codex. Okay, you can collect NPCs codex. This NPCs codex you need to buy from shop. Okay, using diamonds means you have to pay for them to achieve and collect the codex. These are your general. Um, Sorry, these are your general um, monster codex quite old. Okay, some of them you need to purchase from store with money. And the rest, the purple one, are mostly available for you to uh, hunt them down. Like at night when you sleep, you just let it um, AFK in, in the spots. Okay, you click on that, it'll bring you straight to the spot and you can continue to hunt for the monster codex. general place like Pai Hang Pang. This is where you see your rankings. Okay. Zan Li Bang means your all, all, uh, overall power rankings. You have for um Jian Si, Warrior, Mo Fa Shi, Mage, Gong Jian So Archer and Mo Jian Si MG because we have MGs here. You'll be able to see um your whole alliance um power rank score, Zan Li Pai Hang. Um, basically, we are in the top rank right now. And this is a Rong Yao Pai Hang, means how glorious your your, your allies is gonna be. And this is uh, Roland Scores, okay? Who is uh, the best in Roland? They'll rank you accordingly here. And the rest you can see for yourself, like under characters, who, who is highest in, in the Deng Ji, in the, in the level. Si Hui Bang. Your, your how far out are you in your genesis you'll be recorded here okay mainly okay and the rest of the rankings like uh one far the play style you know this is your demon towers your um, arena your wolf spirit then the rest you can see for yourself where you want to hope to achieve where you want to go and uh, how how far are you from your your next your competitor? You can see from them, and which I will cover up in future. Si Zhuang, this is where you see your costume. Okay, every costume that um you have received, they are put here. Lock means you need to purchase it to unlock it, or you haven't received it yet. Okay. There'll be a few that uh, they are trying to show you what are available for you to purchase. And 
these are generally um, what do you have under your whole asset. Under Cibang Wings, this is where you will see um, potential wings that you will be able, uh, be able to unlock and use in future if you like the wing stuff. And generally, Shen Qi is where you will start to open up when you have uh, rank and unlock more of your um, holy artifacts. Shen Jiu Achievements This is where you are able to see achievements that has been done before Close to being done and the, awards, the rewards that you are going to have Okay, Trust me, by just doing your, your daily stuff and uh, weekly events you are going to unlock them pretty much and these are places that you can earn blue diamonds for free also without having to top up and they have this uh, means as you accumulate the points you will be able to get more rewards from here okay let's say you have uh, if you reach another 825 points you will be able to have this uh, title plus 100 diamonds okay so when you uh, unlock level 400 you can get another four, uh, 200 blue diamonds with a dialogue box um shit then we're gonna look at zuo qi mao this is where you can view all your mouse available okay from uh, whatever you can get in games um, some mouse is purchasable uh, in the shop using green diamonds uh, green crystal some has to be purchased by gold diamonds especially those that comes during your um, Roland's or sausage like like this one and this one okay they're gonna be only purchasable by your roland points or your gold diamonds this three here sorry this one two There are three of these bird's mouth here, super huge one. You can only get them when you win your um Sanchi. I think it's called Legion or what we call the cross server. Okay, cross server um Rollins and cross server Caster Siege. Okay, there are we covering up uh covering up this uh cross server Caster Siege thing in the future. And if you are the main general of the whole server, okay, and you win your castle siege for that period of time, you will be able to have this, okay, if you are the, the, the control of the whole server, and I in you represent the whole server for your cross server, you will get this, one of this, okay, followed by if you are general, you help to uh, direct how they should be playing the cross uh the cross server message okay you will be able to get one of this if you have played mu2 before mu1 you will, you will not be uh very unfamiliarized with this wheel this guy costs um quite a lot of diamonds to have it so You guys can explore over here what you can uh, do with the mouth, where you can get it. And this is your whatever is in your your ready arsenal. The max mouth that you can wear per time is 12 only. Okay. So this is where you can see it. This is uh, the overall um, functions and skill that your active mouths are giving you. And this is Jiaxing. 
this is where you awaken your mouth your your mouth your mouth sorry with the awakening stones so purple one is for purple um mouth general basic one will be just general stones and for the legend mount you will need to have um legendary mount awaking stones this is where you do your combination instead of the olden days where you have to go to noria and find the elf uh to combine stuff for you in mu3 it's here as mu2 and mu1 is okay there are quite a lot of things you can do your combination general stuff like um your stone bags your treasure maps okay combinations you can find them here these are where you are able to combine semi person means uh more special item there are, there are special items that you can only come here like collect 30 pieces of this purple puzzle you can exchange for a purple sr um companion same for this you know you need to collect 10 of the sorry you need to collect 50 of the ssr pieces to be able to exchange for SSR pets. This is your companion draw scroll. scroll. 10 of them for one scroll. Okay. This one is where you combine your potions. Okay. You will need to buy the potion formula in store and you will be able to unlock the formulas and you will be able to plug them every day to make your own potions. These potions have special functions like it increases for the example, this one will, will add 15% um, back to your HP and it adds on to your lucky strike 3% uh, for the next 4 seconds. Okay, so there are gonna be options that will add in for excellent strike um, and uh, pursuit damage. And this is where you'll be able to uh, level them up. The more potion that you do, that you mix every day, you'll be able to level yourself up also. And let's see what have we forgotten here. The rest have not been unlocked unless you have reached like level 5, level 6. This is inscription and this is where you do your settings for your game. Okay, inside the better one, better options, you can choose how far your, you want your, your character to be able to attack. And uh, these are also potion settings. And these are your special potion auto settings and even what options you want to use. Okay. So basically, these are the... Um, general functions that you will be able to assess in the game and uh, just going to show you what are the daily events that you have the opportunity to do things like uh, you're going to go for exams yes they test you for exam okay um is where you have to answer 10 questions per day and uh, if you answer it correctly you have extra experience points okay but after river 4 about river 4 you will be able to just one click complete it and there are extra um functions uh events for you to do like kalimas every day you have uh individual um boss fights uh sorry these are the the servers uh boss fight five per day elf uh challenge you have to be able to clear all the stages um, to get all the extra rewards you have demon towers you have this uh, little more hunting where you get ex extra experience for um, this very 5000 monster you are going to kill in the game 
and collect points and you are just doing your AFK extra experience and uh, green crystal giving events your arsenal your, your arena sorry and uh, this is why you can do your individual boss two per day and this is your experience uh, arena okay this is called Pi Zuo. You have to do it. Okay. Gen Shi means this are um according to events timing. Okay. Like some of this only uh you run for one whole week. If you finish it, you are not able to do until the next week it crashes. Okay. This is where you will be able to uh send your your companions, for example, your companions to do extra um chops and you'll be able to get more materials and basically you just click it through to receive the rewards yep this is golden dragons per day too this is where if you need plumes this is where you get a plume to from okay and your gems okay extra gems you need a uh, purple gems advanced or even advanced or legendary gems you have to complete your golden dragons every day okay this is wolf spirit total of 12 level uh you have to do it with your team okay this is a uh this is a game that i won't suggest you to do um auto and let me show you one of the level for wolf spirit basically this is not a place for you to do manual the manual is turned on but i'm i'm basically controlling controlling it manually because if you're gonna do auto you're gonna die pretty fast the moment you get the game right then there will be alliance boss Crystal um, digging every day. Some you even have um Sen Guang Tui Tui Zhan Tui Juan. Sorry, this is where you do your uh your own server royal rumble like this. Uh, basically, this is an event uh not for you to do auto. Trust me. Okay, if you do auto, you die very fast. And if you are a person that you prefer to do manual, these are some of the stuff that you will attract you. Alright, then we take a look at Fu Biao. This is where uh, they tell you what you have to accomplish for the day to receive a special package at the end. This is where you can collect extra um, advanced gems for your character. If you don't complete them, you won't have this extra um, advanced gem for you to make your character stronger. And other than that, we have events, weekly events like uh, Angel Runes, where the basic thing that you have to collect keys to survive and survive and collect the keys to go to the next level. And in that event, you can collect a lot of plumes and uh, feathers to upgrade your, your plumes. And there will also be cross server events. For us, it will be opening up in three days. So probably we'll have a video showcase of how your cross server will look like for you when it's open up to you. Cross server is a very different place right now in the game uh, as what I can record from the past game. Okay. In the cross server this time round, you will be grouped with about four teams.
Alright. Okay, so four teams. Okay, sorry, not four teams, four servers. Okay? Four servers. They'll try to group you with the, the servers that are, that had um open uh, uh, um as close as your servers opening time. Okay, to be fair, to help you so that you won't have to face um servers like they are the pioneers, they are very high, they are they are too far away from you. And um In the cross servers, there's a lot of events that you can do also. Okay, and my recommendation for to build up to cross server is that um, because this time around cross server is a very um, you need the cooperation of your whole server. It's no longer a game where uh, you only bother for your own guild. The top guild uh, usually like you know uh, I'll try here and uh, I don't have to bother with other guilds or the server. No, okay, and this game. Uh, ME Origin 3, the cross server actually requires um, teamwork from the whole server, whole, whole, all the guilds in the whole server. If you have, if you build good relationship with them, you are able, you will be able to get them to coordinate with you on how to, uh, for example, conquer Master Siege and other uh, boss fight, daily boss fight under um, cross server events, and which we were sure cover this because this is one of the main G's of the game cross servers and with this I have uh, kind of finished the in-depth run through this video is a pretty much in-depth run through on what you can do what you need to uh, do for your daily stuff where you can find your daily stuff stuff and in future I will be covering videos like um, and in-depth individual class reviews and suggestions what are the tips su suggested by the players by the pioneers that have already played the game what works what don't works you know the, the builds the gears even the plumes and even videos like how to raise your compact level for free to play players and pay to play players of course and also Genesis okay Genesis is a very big thing that uh, without a proper guide a lot of people got lost okay but they have a lot of uh, rewards under Genesis as you progress and you complete them and there will also be videos covering about our uh, cross servers uh, we have uh, three, 3 versus 3 players under cross uh, servers and some of the skill suggestions and probably also our uh, cross server strategy which um, which I went through before. This is not the first character and uh, Taiwan server that I played. This is uh, probably the second account that I created. The first account has already ran through all the all the cross servers and stuff. And cross servers is very tricky. Trust me, everyone. So um, when it open up more, we will be able to take a look at um, how to play your cross servers properly and how you can progress in the game properly together with your team so with all this in depth uh, guides today I hope that it really helped you to um, go through the game properly um, you get used to it in days okay where to find all these things what to do and I'll put time, time uh, timestamp below so um, because this is a one hour video Okay, you can just basically skip right to the section where you want to view or whatever is relevant to you. And once again, thanks for um, listening to the channel and supporting me. And I hope you guys will enjoy MU Origin 3. See you.